So many things happened in 2021 for crypto and now that 2021 is over, let's take a few minutes to go back through the main events of last year in crypto. If you are new here, I'm Julian and I'll eat the blogs that help Web2 developers transition into Web3. The price of Bitcoin increased 59%. El Salvador made Bitcoin a legal tender. The first Bitcoin ETF was approved in the US and Tesla accepted payments in Bitcoin before reversing the decision. The price of Ethereum increased almost 500% and its market cap gained a lot of ground on Bitcoin. The EIP-1559 upgrade changed the rule of gas fees, which simplified the user experience of DAP users and paved the way for a deflationary Ether. ETH2 made some big progress with the big chain running smoothly with hundreds of thousands of validators and an updated roadmap for the merge of ETH2 with ETH1. And without waiting for the full release of ETH2, Ethereum users could already enjoy lower gas fees on Ethereum thanks to the release of L2 scaling solutions like Polygon or Optimism. Many other Ethereum competitors appear in 2021, attracting users with lower gas fees. All of these blockchains are based on the technology of Ethereum, but some have a custom implementation like Solana or Cardano. Even though these blockchains took some market share from Ethereum, Ethereum is still by far the dominant blockchain. The market cap of DeFi gained more than 300% this year to reach 100 billion. DeFi protocols became increasingly multi-chain in 2021 like Aave or SushiSwap. On the negative side, a total of $1.5 billion were hacked from DeFi protocols in 2021. NFTs exploded in popularity in 2021. The total trading volume reached $23 billion and some NFTs reached insane prices like this NFT from an artist called Beeple which sold for a whopping $69 million. Celebrities helped to popularize NFTs by collecting them and big brands started to release their own NFT collections. Besides offering new revenue streams for artists, NFTs were also used in games like Axie Infinity, which popularized the concept of play to earn. NFTs were also used in blockchain based virtual worlds, also called metaverses, like the Sandbox or Decentraland. This project became very popular thanks to Facebook, which announced its rebranding to Meta. 2021 was also a busy year for regulations. Most countries are working or already released crypto regulations, including the crypto provision of the infrastructure bill in the US. Binance was forced to shut down its operation in many countries, while its competitor Coinbase did its IPO, a huge win for the crypto industry. In conclusion, 2021 was a great year for crypto and 2022 is going to be even more exciting. According to you, what was the biggest event of the year for crypto and why? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for today. Bye. Bye.